Are you looking for one of the best 2020 Christmas gifts or are you interested in the Nvidia Shield Pro 2019 for yourself? Join me in this video where we're going to unbox and give a quick overview of the benefits of the Nvidia Shield Pro 2019. This video is jam-packed full of goodies. I'm going to show you how well the AI upscaling works between content on my Xbox One and on the Nvidia Shield Pro. We're also going to show you how to connect an Xbox One controller as well as some other features. I'm also going to show you a list of games and apps that are available for the Shield Pro. And on top of all that, we're going to show you some key differences between the two models released in 2019 as well as the model released in 2017. And then at the end, I'm going to give you my final thoughts and why I think this is one of the best Christmas gifts of 2020. I'm Barrett and this is Speca Tech. Welcome to the channel. So we got a lot to cover in this video today, so let's get right into it. I truly do think that the Nvidia Shield Pro 2019 is one of the best Christmas gifts of 2020, and let's talk about why. But first, we gotta get into this box and see what you get for the 199 US dollar price tag. I've also dropped a link down below for the Nvidia Shield Pro for current pricing. The packaging for the Nvidia Shield Pro 2019 is actually quite nice, and it does give you the impression that there's a quality product inside. There isn't a whole lot inside the box though. Uh, all we have is some product literature here. Then we have the remote, and as far as physical features, go uh, this is the biggest change from 2017 to 2019 versions this new version is a rounded triangular tube design I guess is the way to put it to change the batteries we simply need to slide the back down as you can see here and you have access to the batteries there's actually quite a few changes in the remote the new remote adds quite a bit more in the button department then of course we have the new Nvidia Shield Pro which is mostly identical to the 2017 version as far as physical attributes go what I have here is the pro version but there's also a non pro version or standard version which is just a solution cylindrical device with the same remote. Uh, we'll cover some of the important differences later on in the video. I would have actually liked to have seen an HDMI cable included in the box here. Uh, luckily for me, I do have a lot of spares laying around, but that might not be the case for everybody. So keep that in mind. If you are going to buy the Nvidia Shield, you're going to want to pick up an HDMI cable for it as well. Now that we have the Shield Pro unboxed, let's talk about what's new, the differences between the 2017 and the two 2019 versions, and what this little box is capable of. Before we get into all that, if you guys are into audio and home theater, that's what I'm all about. So please consider subscribing, and if you do subscribe, you might as well tick the bell icon so you can be notified about my future videos, and I'd really appreciate it if you took a second right now to tick that like button. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the physical attributes of the 2019 Nvidia Shield Pro. For ports, we have two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, a gigabit ethernet port, and the power port, which seems to be a proprietary plug. So that covers the physical attributes, and as far as setting this thing up, guys, it is really simple. You just need to follow the prompts on the screen, and if you have an Android phone, they actually make it even easier for you. It's really so simple, I don't even need to show you here. All right, so now that we know what this thing looks like, and what ports it has, let's talk about what the differences are between the two 2019 versions as well as the 2017 version. The most noticeable change is actually in the remote. Uh, the old 2017 version had a very minimalistic remote with very few buttons and then a touch sensitive area for volume control. The new 2019 version has much more functionality built into the remote, so let's take a look at them. We have quite a few buttons here for the 2019 model, so I'm gonna post up a picture here and we're gonna go through some of the buttons just so you know what they do. Label number one here being the built-in microphone, number two being the power button, and number three being the menu button. A cool feature for this button is that it's programmable from the settings, so you can have it open up an app or take a screenshot or perform any specific function that you would like. I thought this was actually a very cool feature to include. So number four is a circular button that operates like a D-pad with up, down, left, and right with a select button in the middle. And number six is the back button and number seven is the home button. So most of the buttons here are self-explanatory so we're not going to cover them all but let's discuss some of the internal differences as well as the functionality differences between the two current models and the 2017 model. So the 2019 models are known as the Nvidia Shield TV and the Nvidia Shield TV Pro and for 2017 it was known as the Nvidia Shield TV. Okay so let's cover some of the main differences between the three models. As you can see the new 2019 models have the upgraded Tegra X1 Plus processor which translates to a smoother experience even though the 2017 already did have a smooth experience. Both the 2019 Pro and the 2017 Shield have 3 gigabytes of RAM and the 2019 Shield TV has only 2 gigabytes of RAM. Similar story with the storage, the 2019 Shield TV having half as much storage as both the other models. I'm glad to see that the 2019 models do support HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision. The 2017 model did not support Dolby Vision. The 2019 versions are also able to decode and pass through Dolby Atmos. The 2017 version was only able to do pass through. All three of the models are now able to run the current Android TV 9 
operating system. Another upgrade in the 2019 versions is the new AI upscaling, which really does deliver on what it promises and it's a standout feature here. We are gonna cover a little bit more of this later on in the video. I'm going to compare content on my Xbox One, uh, standard content on the Shield Pro, and then with AI upscaling enabled, and you will see that it does make a difference. Another change to the 2019 versions is a backlit keyboard, which is definitely a welcomed feature here. For controller support in the 2019 versions, it's nice to see that PlayStation and Xbox controllers are supported along with an optional Shield controller. Another update from the 2017 version to the 2019 versions is the support of Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, the Shield Pro and the 2017 Shield both have USB 3.0 ports and the 2019 Shield TV only having an SD card slot. So there's definitely some great features and some nice upgrades made to the 2019 Nvidia Shield. But for those of you that aren't familiar with this device, you might be asking yourself, what is it capable of and why might I want one of these? So let's talk about that. To put it simply, this is an all-in-one media and gaming device with apps and games made available to you through the Google Play Store as well as through Nvidia GameStream. Of course, it supports all of your major streaming services, like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime. Here's a list of all of the apps that are supported. Feel free to pause it and read them through thoroughly if you wish. For the more tech savvy out there, it does support Kodi and Plex if you do want to watch a digital movie file. An added bonus here is that it does support music streaming services as well, like Pandora, Spotify, Amazon Music, and Tidal. A note here though for Canadians is that Amazon Music does not work currently in our region. And as if that wasn't enough, you can download and play a lot of the games from the Google Play Store. And if you have a GeForce powered PC, you can use GameStream to stream your 4K HDR 60 frame per second games through the Nvidia Shield Pro to your TV. Here's a list of all the games supported on the Nvidia Shield TV. Uh, there's way too many to list here, so I'm just gonna scroll through them. And if you wish to read them in detail, feel free to pause it. The ones with the Android logo beside them are available through the Google Play Store. And those with the computer monitor beside them are available through the GameStream function. So let's back up a little bit. Earlier on, I did mention that you can connect an Xbox One controller to the Nvidia Shield TV. So I have an Xbox One controller here. Let's see how easy it is to connect. So first, just make sure that your Xbox One controller is in pairing mode by pressing the pairing button on top of the controller like you see here. Once you have your Xbox One controller in pairing mode, you want to go to Nvidia Shield and press menu, then go to remotes and accessories. From there, you want to add Bluetooth accessories. And once your Xbox controller pops up on the right hand side, you simply click on it and then click pair when the prompt pops up. And that's it guys. Your Xbox One controller is connected to the Nvidia Shield TV for gaming, or if you simply wanna navigate the menus using the Xbox One controller. Another cool little trick here uh, that I'm happy that they added is you can actually use the Nvidia Shield TV remote to play some of the games. So if you don't have an Xbox One controller or a PlayStation controller, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy one if you're just gonna do a little bit of casual gaming. You can use the remote that's included in the package. Before I give you my thoughts on the audio and video quality of this device, first let me show you how well the AI upscaler works. Uh, so what I did is I pulled up some 1080p content on YouTube with my Xbox One, the exact same content on the Nvidia Shield Pro, and the Nvidia Shield Pro actually has a cool little feature that you can turn it into demo mode, allows you to switch the AI upscaling off and on very quickly so you can see the difference. But I thought to myself, well, what if they're just making the non-AI upscaled version a little bit more blurry so that it looks like the AI upscaling is doing a lot more than it is. So that's why I brought the Xbox One into the mix to show that that is not the case. The Xbox One shows the exact same detail and clarity as the Nvidia Shield Pro without AI upscaling on. So if you are interested in doing this yourself and seeing the difference between AI upscaling on and off, to put your Nvidia Shield Pro into demo mode, uh, all you have to do is go to settings and then you'll see AI upscaling, select that and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and enable demo mode. Once you have the Shield TV in demo mode, you can press the menu button to switch back and forth between non-AI upscaling and AI upscaling. And if you hold the menu button down, it'll give you the slider so that you can slide it back and forth to see the difference. I simply use the inputs on my AVR to switch back and forth quickly between the Xbox One X and the Nvidia Shield Pro. Here we have the 1080p content on the Shield Pro without the AI upscaler enabled. It pretty much looks exactly the same as the content on the Xbox One, which I'll show in a second. So now I'm going to enable the AI upscaler. So pay attention to the rocks and the water here. It's the exact same 1080p content. So as you can see, there is much more detail and it looks much more crisp. That being said, some of you may not prefer the AI upscaled look, uh, so you can just turn that off but I do prefer the more crisp, detailed look of the AI upscaler. Okay, so let's move on to the Xbox One footage. Uh, so I'll put it side by side with the Shield Pro here. And again, you can see with the AI upscaler enabled, it does make a difference in the details with the overall crispness and the picture quality. 
So I do have to verify that the AI upscaler does make a difference. It does work. It is not just a gimmick. This is a serious feature. So we covered the AI upscaling. Let's talk about my overall thoughts on the audio and video quality of this device. Before getting this device, I was using the Xbox One X for my media player. Uh, I did not use it for Blu-rays. I do have a dedicated 4K Blu-ray player for that. But I did use my Xbox One X for things like Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, and sometimes even Spotify and uh, YouTube. So I never really had any complaints about the audio and video quality of the Xbox One X. It did an outstanding job in all regards. And the same can be said about the Nvidia Shield Pro here. Although with the AI upscaling, I say it is a step up in video quality. The added crispness in picture quality really does make a difference for me. And for that feature alone, I do prefer the Nvidia Shield Pro for video quality. As far as audio quality goes, I couldn't really hear a difference when switching back and forth between different services and listening to different things. So it is at least as good as the Xbox One X and that is not a bad thing. One important thing that I do want to point out here though is that it does matter which app you are using within the Nvidia Shield Pro for audio quality. So when playing the exact same content in VLC player versus Kodi, the VLC player did do a better job of audio. It was clearer and more dynamic than Kodi was. So the audio is great, the video is crisp and clear, but what about the interface and the OS? Well, again, you're getting a great experience here as well. Everything is responsive and quick. When you're switching apps or going back to the home screen, it happens very quickly. There's no real hiccups. Uh, I didn't experience anything negative that I felt even warranted pointing out here. I have had uh, Android boxes in the past that I purchased from Amazon, and this is nothing like those boxes. This thing is very quick, very snappy. Those other Android boxes usually had some lag and some input lag. Sometimes you'd input uh, something several times, there would be some lag, and then all of a sudden you'd get all those inputs all at once. That does not happen here with the Nvidia Shield Pro. So that brings me to my final thoughts. In the beginning of the video, I did say that this was one of the best Christmas presents of 2020, in my opinion, and we're gonna get to that in just a second. But first, let me just sum up this device. If you are looking for a media player that really does do it all and has fantastic video quality, supports HDR10+, Dolby Vision, supports the uh, height effects like Dolby Atmos and DTS, X and you can also play games on it regardless if you have an Xbox controller or not this really is the device for you it does it all it does it all very well there is no reason why you should be hesitant about buying this box. So why is the Nvidia Shield Pro one of the best gifts in 2020 in my opinion? Well, for all of the reasons I just mentioned and everything I just showed you, but besides that, in today's world with COVID-19, people are self-isolating. There are certain countries that have curfews. There are certain countries that aren't allowing social gatherings indoors at all, even over the Christmas holidays. For those people that are gonna be trapped inside, you might as well be entertained, and this box does that well. You will be entertained. It does video very well, it does audio well, you can even play games on it, even if you don't have an Xbox controller, you can use the remote. It is hours and hours of entertainment built right in for $199 US dollars. It's perfect for any man cave, any home theater, anybody with a media room of any kind, or anybody that just wants to be entertained. It is just a great gift all around, and that is that. All right, guys, if you are into all things audio and tech, make sure you subscribe. And if you do subscribe, you might as well tick the bell icon so you be notified about my future videos. And do me a favor, tick that like button if you would be so kind. And remember, guys, be kind to each other, enjoy your systems, and stay techie.